and welcome to the Renaissance Report. Now, as we go and approach the painting, we'll see that it's very simple and plain, and it's got a lot of neutral colors. It's very two-dimensional and linear. We don't get a lot of 3D or sense that there's depth in the picture. It looks very still, very 2D. When he released this painting in 1871, he got a lot of backlash for it. And it caused an immense amount of controversy among his viewers and critics. He was really put down for it because of the peculiar coloring, composition, and the flatness of the overall painting. Another thing is her pose. Her pose is very planned out and very stiff. She's not in a natural position. Her feet are nicely placed on this little box. She's sitting with her hands in her lap, her back right against the chair. Just plain, planned out, not very natural, not very extravagant or elegant looking. Now, James Whistler is an American painter. He's originally from Massachusetts, but he did a lot of his work in Paris and London, and he studied abroad. And this can be clearly seen in his curtain in the painting, which has a lot of Asian-esque design principles. So this just goes to show that he incorporated not just things from his own culture, but things from his other cultures and what he experienced from his travels. In the background of the painting, we can see another small picture frame. So this picture frame is, is like an Easter egg, if you will, a symbol. And it represents that his mother in the picture is also just a framed piece of art. She's an, it's almost like he's degrading her as a human. She's not a human. She's not a real subject. She's just simply a framed piece of art. Another interesting point about the picture frame behind his mother is that it was actually one of Whistler's own prints that he actually made. Um, this print in the background is called View of the Thames, which is a print he made while living in London. Now, in this painting, the subject is Whistler's mother. So, even though he's painting his mother, he doesn't really give her a lot of expression or a lot of almost respect it's like he's disrespecting her by drawing her so plainly and in such a stiff rigorous position even the title of this painting suggests that Whistler was really detached from this whole roman romanticism and this need for elegant beautiful paintings because he doesn't use his mother's name or give it a nice name he simply calls it the arrangement in gray and black, number one. It's very basic, very to the point. In conclusion, it can be seen clearly that in James Whistler's An Arrangement in Gray and Black, he focused mainly on the aesthetic aspects of painting, and not so much on the romanticism and extra details. Whistler thought that the most important parts of paintings were their aesthetic and visual looks, and this is why. He painted his mother in such a simple way. This brings us to the end of our show. 
Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed today's Renaissance Report.